with my husband, Moses Hall. Uh, we've been married for 54 years. We were married on May 1st of 1949. I met Moses through a mutual friend. Uh, they lived at the same place, and uh, they were having an affair, and I didn't have a date. So she told me she knew a nice, quiet young man that she'd like to introduce me to. And of course, it turned out to be Moses. We are the parents of nine children, uh, six boys and three girls. Uh, three of those we uh, were not blessed to rear to adulthood, but six we have adults. Four boys and two girls. We have uh, seven grandchildren and we have four great-grandchildren. I think the guidelines is about marriage and our faith and our religion. We are tried to abide by them the best we could and seemed like it, it, it worked out for us. I think when uh, you feel like you want to go, just stay anyway. That's about, the, that's about the only way you're going to stay. You can't do what you feel like doing all the time. And we know what our faith teaches us, you know, to love each other. And that's what we have to do in order to stay together. We're members of the Church of Christ. And I did not know about the Church of Christ until I met Moses. And uh, in learning about the church and more about Christ and about the Bible, uh, really it's the thing that really has kept us together, our faith. Because we've matured. And so as being mature now, we can evaluate things differently. And we can apply, we can both go to the Word of God and settle any issue that comes up if we want to be successful in it. So that's what really has kept us together. I've had just a number of jobs, but right now I'm working as a receptionist for the law office of uh, Lane and Carlo out in Marietta. And I'm a part-time receptionist and I work two to three days a week. And it gets me up and out and it makes me feel needed and, and, and vibrant, although I'm planning to give it up very soon, but it's worked so far. But I plan to take a computer course or something else, you know, that keeps me active still. The other reason I, I want to go ahead and give it up because he is 82 and that's a lot of blessing to me. So I want to be close by, yet not be just pinned down. And I plan to get him out of here too. We teach a, a Bible class there, a senior Bible class, and we enjoy that. It keeps me studying and keeps me working a little bit around in the house myself. So it's just wonderful. I sort of believe that the Lord know what he was doing when he put man and woman together and when he gave uh, uh, rules to govern he knew what he was doing and the only thing it takes two to do it though I mean they both have to be willing to abide by them and then, then they'll be successful that's right let them and everywhere you go